Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to do another continuation to the long division problem. Uh, before, we did long division with just binomials, but in this case, we're going to be doing something with higher power denominators. Um, we'll start off with a review of the last topic we covered, which was basic long division. And after we do the basic one, we're going to then go to um, long division with missing terms with uh, trinomial as the divisor. And this will work the same for any higher power that you would have. It's pretty routine for anything that you're doing. So let's begin with the basic one again. So again, the denominator is the divisor. So we're going to have x take away 2. And over here, we're going to have everything else that's in the top of the numerator here. Uh, so we have 9x cubed plus 4x squared take away 3x is minus 5. And we're dividing that with x minus 2. Now again. The routine for this is to take the quotient of the leading term with the leading divising term. So we have 9x squared, uh, 9x cubed divided by x is 9x squared. Now this is the quotient for the first term, which we're going to put exactly over the x squared term, which is the 4x squared term. Sorry, I missed the 2 there again. Um, so right above this, we're going to put the 9x squared here. And remember, when we're dividing, we're taking the product of the quotient and the divisor to create the subtracting term. So we have to make it the opposite of what the product is. So we have 9x squared, which I'm going to make negative because we're going to subtract. And we're multiplying that by x minus 2. So the subtractor that we're going to have here for the, the divisor is going to be 9x cubed plus 18x squared. This is the result when we subtract. So we're going to just add that in here. first two will cancel to 0. The second two are going to give me 22x squared. We're going to bring down the third term, negative 3x's. So the next step again, we start over with the same routine, and we're going to continue doing this rinse, wash, repeat, right? Rinse, wash, repeat method. So now we're going to take the leading term, 22x squared. We're going to divide that with x going to get the quotient here for the term is going to be 22x's. That's going to go up top, positive 22x. Right above the x term, they should always line up. And then we're going to then take the product of the opposite of this number, negative 22x's, and the divisor, x minus 2. This is going to give us our subtractor here, so we're going to multiply these two. We got negative 22x squared and positive 44. So let's line that up, negative 22x squared plus 44x's. The first two cancel out to 0. The second two add up to 41x's. We're going to bring down the third term, which is minus 5. And we have 41x minus 5. And again, we're going to divide, multiply, and subtract in repetition here. So 41x's is our term. And we're dividing that by x. We get 41. It's positive. So we'll put plus 41 on top here. Then I'm going to take the opposite of this number, negative 41, and I'm going to multiply with the divisor. That gives me negative 41x's plus 82. And then we're going to add that right here. Negative 41x's plus 82. These two cancel. These two add. We get positive 77. And this is our remainder. So we're taking the remainder. We're putting it up here. It's positive 77. And we put that over the divisor itself. So it's x minus 2 here. All right, so now when we divide this 9x cubed plus 4x squared minus 3x is minus 5 by x minus 2, we get 9x squared plus 22x is plus 41. Plus, because the 77 is positive, we're going to have 77 over x minus 2. That's the result for the first one. Now let's, let's take this off here and continue with the second problem. Now if you want, you can always go back in this video and watch everything that I did because we're going to do the same routine thing with this. Before we begin this problem, however, we're going to fix the way it looks. And by fix, I mean we're missing exponents on the top and we're missing exponents on the bottom. The exponents should always go in descending order from the highest to the lowest with no exceptions of anything missing. So here's the fifth power. Here's the fourth power. There's no third power. We need to fill that in, right? So we have negative 4x to the fifth, positive 5x to the fourth, 
we're gonna add zero x to the cube because uh, we need to have a placeholder and that's what the zero does for us. Minus two x squared, minus six x's, minus seven. And we do not say that the denominator is exempt from the same rule because it's what we're dividing with. Here we had a binomial, the binomial divides two at a time. Here's a second degree exponent. So we're gonna have x squared plus zero x's minus one. And this placeholder is going to help us identify with the trinomial so we could divide with a three term number. Now, let's set up the division as we have x squared. Let's move this over a bit. Going to need the space for troubleshooting the repeat process. So here we have negative 4x to the fifth plus 5x to the fourth plus 0x cubed minus 2x squared minus 6x's minus 7. And all of this is going to be divided by x squared plus 0x's minus 1. Now the first term is negative 4x to the fifth, and we're going to divide that with x squared. So negative 4x to the fifth divided by x squared is going to give us negative 4x to the third. And now that's going to go over the x cubed term. As we see, this is the first term that's produced. So negative 4x to the third power. And here we're going to take the opposite of negative 4x to the third, which is just 4x to the third. And we're going to multiply that by x squared plus 0x is minus 1. So we got x squared plus 0x is minus 1. And here we're going to have 4x to the fifth, 0x to the fourth, and negative 4x to the third. And this is ready just to place under here and stack and subtract by default. So we have 4x5 plus 0x4 minus 4x to the third. And this is a positive 4, right? So now let's combine them. The first two go away. The second two create 5x to the fourth. The third, negative 4x to the third. And we're going to bring down the fourth. So here we have negative 2x squared. So let's repeat the process. We're going to take the head term divided by the leading devising term. Then take the opposite of that so that we can multiply with the divisor so we can have our stack. So here we have 5x to the fourth divided by x to the second, which is 5x squared. Now this is the quotient, so let's put plus 5x squared. And here we're going to take the opposite of this term, negative 5x squared, since we're subtracting in the division, and we're going to multiply by x squared plus 0x's minus 1. This becomes negative 5x to the fourth plus 0x to the third minus times minus is plus, so we have 5x squared. Let's stack these up and combine them. So negative 5x to the fourth, 0x to the third, 5x to the second. The first two cancel out. The second two are just negative 4x to the third, and we have 3x squared. Let's bring down the negative 6 term with the x and repeat the process. The leading term now is negative 4x to the third power. And here we go, negative 4x to the third. We're going to divide this by x squared. This gives us negative 4x's. We're going to place that up here. We're going to multiply that with the opposite of negative 4x becomes positive 4x when we subtract. We have x squared plus 0x is minus 1. Combine these, 4x cubed plus 0x squared minus 4x's. Let's stack them up here. Plus 4x cubed plus 0x squared minus 4x's. These are going to cancel. We have 3x squared then minus 10x's. We're going to bring down the negative 7 now. So now we're going to repeat this process one more time. And this is a little bit tedious, but it's just a repetition of steps. It's just like um, the same exact mechanism of what you're doing, all right? So we have 3x squared here. We're dividing by x squared. This is going to give us just positive 3. Place the positive 3 up here. We take the opposite of positive 3 for the multiplication so we can divide. We have x squared plus 0x is minus 1. This becomes negative 3x squared plus 0x is plus 3. And this goes directly under this. So here we have negative 3x squared plus 0x's plus 3. The first two cancel. 
The second two give me negative 10x's, and the last two give me negative 4. This is our remainder. So we have a remainder of negative 10x. Let me rewrite this because we cannot see what the remainder is. So here we have the remainder of negative 10x's minus 4 over the, div the divisor, which is x squared. Take away 1. We don't have to put the 0 back when we're doing it in this form because we're just writing it with the original division. Now, the quotient for this problem then becomes negative 4x cubed plus 5x squared minus 4x's plus 3. And this part, we can say plus a negative. Or if I wanted to factor out from negative 10x's minus 4 and say it's negative 2 times, uh, we have 5x's plus 2. When we distribute this, we get that. So here I'm going to say it's minus 2 parentheses 5x plus 2 over x squared minus 1. And I'm factoring so I can have this negative symbol come out because we can't put a plus with a minus in there, all right? Thank you.